ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Timothy Bassett, owner and founder of Bassett Images and Bassett Revisions. And today's topic of conversation is going to be purpose. All right. So, of course, to start off the main topic of purpose, we have to ask ourselves the main question. What is my purpose? Now, in order for a person to find out what their purpose is, I truly believe that one of the first steps is that you have to figure out what it is that you have an interest in. So you have to find out what it is that your mind thinks about the most. I'm not thinking about, we're talking about all the negativity, all the down feelings, whenever I have a very negative perspective on something, when I think about something negatively a lot, I'm talking about something that you've always wanted to know about. Something that you've always been curious about, like, oh, I would actually like to find out some more information about that, but you never really get around to it, or you make the excuse of, I don't have enough time, I don't have enough set aside uh, money to be able to pursue something like that, I don't have enough this, I don't have enough that, I'll get to it later, I'll take care of that some other point in time. Now, all of those are basically fail-safes, all of those are excuses to be able to say, I don't, I don't really have to chase after that right now, or I don't have to pursue it right now. If you're lucky enough, you may already have an idea of what it is that you 100% want to do, but you're using one of those excuses to not pursue it because you understand and you know subconsciously that it's going to be a difficult thing to do. So what does your subconscious mind do? It procrastinates, which is something that everybody on this planet is guilty of. So don't think that you're alone. Now, when it comes down to actually finding your purpose, get clear on what it is that you think on the most, what you think about the most, and in you getting clear on what you think about the most, make a little list of that. Write down all the different things that you've been curious about that you've always wanted to read about and learn. Now, after you get clear on that list, what you then can do, find a book on that topic. You ask yourselves, Tim, why do I need a book? Well, when you purchase a book on each one of those topics and you're just not 100% clear on what your purpose is, purchasing a book on one of those topics, first off, it, it solidifies it. It puts it in front of your face and you're taking money and you're investing into something. You're investing in a thought. You're investing in the process of finding out what your purpose is. I mean, people pay two, dollars $300 for a pair of Jordans. Why not find out what your purpose is? That's more valuable, right? So, in finding this book, or in finding a book, even something as simple as uh, if you want to do coding on computers, or if you're just curious about how to code on a computer, how to develop software programs for major businesses, or just develop a software program in period, or hey, how in the world do people develop applications for cell phones, then what you can do is they actually have books out there specifically for that purpose. For example, my favorite genre of books is just the For Dummy series. If I'm curious about something, if I want to know a little bit more about a topic, I'll just go grab a For Dummies book. Not only does it make it simplistic, but it also gives you all of the major key points that you need in order to be able to know the basics of pursuing that field. So if you want to know about investing, just either because you want to get in the investment industry or finance industry, or you decide that you want to just become a little bit more savvy with your own investments, then you could just go right over to the bookstore and just pick up Investing For Dummies. Personally, I prefer the actual hard copy of the book, not hard copy, but the paperback version, but an actual physical copy of a book, as opposed to any ebooks or audiobooks or anything like that, because ebooks, audiobooks, sure, they give you features to write notes in them, but it's not really something that's sitting on your bookshelf that looks at you and, and you know, makes you feel responsible for reading that book all the way through because you spend your money on it. Whereas ebooks is a little bit more electronic, you're not really seeing it, you're not focused on it. So what happens? It just sits inside of your phone or your device for an extended amount of time and you never see it again. So what I would recommend doing, once you pick up a book on these topics that you've already broke down a list for, start reading. Get caught up on reading. Oh Tim, I don't have the time. Oh Tim, I'm not sure if I'll be able to. No, 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 no. You have the time. All you need to do is just set aside at least minimum half an hour every single day. Half an hour. I can guarantee you that you spend at minimum half an hour every single day either on your cell phone flipping through Facebook, on your cell phone flipping through YouTube videos because I know if I've done it, or you've been able to do a bunch of other things during that time frame. For example, hey, friends are inviting you out to dinner, you're about to hit the club, you're about to go to the bar, or hey, you know what, I'm about to go take care of this, I'm about to go do that, I'm about to go do laundry. While you are waiting on the laundry to get done, you can be 
sitting there reading. And you don't need to start off with reading like a crazy amount of pages or a crazy amount of words. And don't be discouraged by the fact that there's some words in these books that you don't understand. That's the point. The purpose of picking up these books is to be able to understand the industry. And anytime that you're picking up a topic that's brand new, you're not going to understand that industry, period. Get accustomed to being uncomfortable with knowing about something that you've always wanted to know about because you're a beginner. And don't feel discouraged because other people tell you, oh man, you know, you're, maybe you're just not, maybe that industry isn't for you. No. What you need to do is you need to take the time to really research and take the time to really go into it. If you don't take the time, I guarantee you, you will never find your purpose in life and you will keep on drudging through life without any guarantee of anything being of any value at all, period. And then you'll be 80 years old, lying in your deathbed, wondering what the hell happened. And then when God comes back to take you, he's gonna be looking at you like, what, what happened? So, when you pick up a book, set aside at least a half an hour, recommend it an hour if you can, which I'm sure that you can. If you're watching Netflix for two, three hours because you're binge watching, binge watching on seasons, you can set aside an hour to read. And in this hour to read, if you just read a minimum of five pages per day, 10 pages per day, something, something to that effect, and say, for example, the topic of the book is uh, computer coding. Now, those books might be a little bit more thick, or it might be around the 300 to 300, 325, 330, 340 page genre time frame uh, length. But what you can do is if you separate out five pages per day that you're reading on that book, you've taken half an hour, an hour out of your day, five pages per day, or if you take it 10 pages per day even, in 30 days, you can finish a book. 12 months, you'll be finishing a book per month. You'll already be above the normal class of people that only read an average of one to two books per year. You'll have read 12 books per year, which already by itself escalates you above everybody else. Not only will you start thinking in the direction of where your purpose is, but you'll start becoming more knowledgeable about other topics. So in order to be able to really hone in on what it is that is your purpose, after you read one of the books, if it's one of those books that you cannot put down and you're just fascinated by the topics, write that book down. Write that on the sidelines. You already have your list of the likes and the things that you've always wanted to know about and learn, so write that separate book that you had a serious fascination with on the sidelines. Say, I read this book and this book is interesting to me. So, in doing that, when you read the next book that's on the list, if the same thing goes for that book, Write that uh, down. Write that down on the list. Each time that you're writing the book down on the list, you're narrowing down what it is that you truly have a passion for. Because if it's something that you're just like, man, I want to know more about. Man, what is that? Man, what is this? Man, what is this? What is that? Then maybe that's what your purpose is for the rest of your life. Maybe that's what you should be pursuing for the rest of your life. If you find an interest in these things and you're just in that mode where you just can't put it down because you want to get more books and you just want to look into it more, you're looking it up on your phone, you feel more passionate about it, or you feel as though you need to learn this topic because your family depends on it, or, or if you feel as though, hey, I've got a purpose behind this, I'm, I'm driven, I'm, I just feel like this is my direction. When you get that feeling, you will know. You will know. That feeling right there, that is where purpose lies. That is right smack dab in the middle of when you will find out that purpose works. So do yourself a favor. Write out that list of things you've always wanted to learn about. Pick up the books about those topics. Read through each one of those books about those topics. Write down the list of whichever book it was that you found the most fascinating. And keep pursuing and purchasing other books about those topics. Keep on reading. Keep on investing yourself in it. And then start steering your life in the direction of achieving mastery in those topics that you find the most passionate for yourself. I hope this helps. I want to wish everybody a good rest of your morning. And this is the end of the today's conversation. And also I'm going to just say an introduction and welcome to the Commute Series. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.